don't know about you guys, but I would say about two to three times a day, I fall down the Pinterest rabbit hole. The algorithm knows me so well at this point. I swear it shows me one of my own videos like one in five times I log on. But anyways, most of the time, I feel like you don't actually find the motivation to go make the stuff that you see. But then sometimes you see something and you're like, wow, that's cute. So you go to make it. But let's say in this scenario, it turns out that somebody is using all of the ovens in your kitchen. But then you find your Easy Bake Oven from many, many years ago. Perfect. If you haven't guessed from that fantastic narrative there, we are making a miniature unicorn cake using an Easy Bake Oven. I thought this would be a really fun challenge and kind of a throwback to my old days of using an Easy Bake Oven. And before we get started, make sure you tap that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. To start off, preheat your Easy Bake Oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. And by preheat, I just mean plug it in. Pretty simple. And then for our cake, you're going to need one cup of flour along with six tablespoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then go ahead and give that all a whisk to combine. Set that aside. And then over in a microwave safe jug, you'll need three quarters cups of milk, and then add in six tablespoons of softened butter. Then you'll want to microwave that at 30 second intervals, just until it is nice and smooth. It also helps to stir in between each interval, just to ensure that it's getting nicely combined. Perfect. Now we're just going to pour this on into our dry ingredients. Go ahead and give it all a stir. And then I almost forgot, but you'll also want to add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and mix it all through. This is my all-time favorite kind of small batch vanilla cake recipe. The cake comes together really quickly and it comes out so moist and tender. Oh my gosh, just talking about it makes me want to slice. Then it's time to pour it into our adorable little Easy Bake Oven pans. The trick here is to not overfill the pan. I have learned this many times the hard way. If you overfill it, as you push the cake out of the oven, the top of the cake is going to scrape off and just burn inside the oven. And since you can't really access the inside of the oven, if you burn some cake in there, it's basically in there for the rest of eternity. So, uh, just don't overfill your pans. But once you have your pans ready to go, pop them into your little Easy Bake oven and let them bake for about 11 minutes. Then grab your little pan pusher, slide them on out, and we can look at our beautiful cake. Except this one turned out kind of lopsided. I think I didn't have it resting quite on the center plate of the oven, but it's all good. You can just fill that in with frosting. And then here you can see with this cake, I made sure it was sitting really nice and flat, so the cake came out really nicely. Repeat for the rest of your batter. You should end up with about eight cakes. Let them cool down completely, and then it is time to decorate. To start off, I'll just slather some buttercream onto my cake board, then press on a layer of cake, pipe over some more buttercream, spread it out nice and flat, and then stack on another layer, and go ahead and repeat. Then I went ahead and did a crumb coat on this guy, basically just a really nice thin layer of frosting to lock in all of those crumbs, and then we can work on these stripes. I've seen this technique so many times on Instagram, and I really, really wanted to try it out, and it's actually super simple. You just pipe out different stripes of buttercream frosting, and then go ahead and grab your offset, and then very carefully kind of spread it flat, and you have beautiful stripes of frosting. I kind of messed it up with the that little like splotch of pink that's pretty thick but overall I give that an 8 out of 10. Once you finish that go ahead and frost the top of the cake and then we can move on to the middle layer. So I'm just grabbing a cookie cutter here and I'll cut out two rounds of cake then I'll press that on top of the bottom layer add a little bit of frosting then pop on the top layer and then I frosted it with purple buttercream and by the way you can find this buttercream frosting recipe over on the blog post super easy though and then for the top layer I cut out two smaller rounds of cake stack them on top of the middle layer and went ahead and frosted it up. The only problem was that I had the heat on in my basement you can kind of see the buttercream frosting getting a little bit melty but it's all good if your frosting gets too warm just pop the whole cake into the fridge let that sit for about 10 minutes so the butter can kind of re-solidify and then you should be good to go next up I'll just pipe on some shells of buttercream in between the layers this adds a really nice decorative touch and it also kind of covers up any frosting that's kind of misbehaving around the edges there and that's the really nice thing about cake decorating if you mess up you can always just cover it with more frosting I wish college worked the same way but anyways once you finished off your shells Cut a triangle of cake for the horn and pop that on. Then add on some sprinkles for the unicorn mane. Then I took some black frosting and piped on the eyelashes. These are a little bit tricky. You can see my hands kind of shaking there, but nothing that a little toothpicking can't fix. And then I added on these gold stars. But then once I finished, I thought they looked kind of tacky. It kind of looked like a wizard cake or something, which might be cool, but not exactly the effect I was going for here. So I took them all off and placed on some white stars instead. And I think these look a lot better. Then I added some more sprinkles along these shells of our cake. And check that out, our unicorn cake is finished. 
Can you believe we made this entirely using an Easy Bake Oven? Oh my gosh, you should see this cake compared to the cakes I used to make when I actually had an Easy Bake Oven. Let's just say we've come a long way. But now it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Go ahead and cut yourself a slice, chomp it down, and you'll see that this cake is not only super cute, but it's also delicious. I could eat this entire cake, I feel like. Thank goodness it's small. But yeah, that is how you make a three-tier unicorn cake using an Easy Bake Oven. This was such a fun challenge. If you guys have more requests for Easy Bake Oven treats, definitely leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear. And before you go, don't forget to tap that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. You can also click right here for my last video. Follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats. The blog post is right up here. And I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all back here very soon. Bye, guys.